Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video of JS Buffer we are going to see arrays higher order function that is map. So let's create one array over here. Let's we'll say constant numbers equals to 1 2 3 4 5. Okay so this is a array of numbers available and here we will see how we can use the map function of array. So here we can start with numbers dot map function over here so this particular function takes three argument the value the index and the array as a callback function over here so let's define the callback function and one thing to note over here is this map function will return the new array out of it so let's first create the function over here function we will just say that the function is square numbers okay which will take value index and array as the input parameter and it will return value into value as a square to get the square out of it okay and this particular square numbers we will use in our map function over here let's print this value console.log and we will say numbers over here so here what we are doing is we are using the map function this map function is taking the callback function which is taking three parameters the value the index and the array itself and we are returning value star values to get the square of a number if i run this over here you can see that we are not getting the data we are getting the main array itself that is a number because this particular map function returns the array so let me store that into one of the array constant square num equals to numbers dot map over here and let me print this square num over here and if i run this again you can see that we are getting the square of a number available in this particular array so this way we can use the map function to change a particular value to a new value itself so what we did we took a one value over here that is one and then we return the value we map the value to the square of that particular number so when we got one we return one when we got two we return four we square that value and we return the value so that means we are mapping a new value for a particular value that we are getting from the array itself rather than using this particular function we can also use as a arrow function over here now let's take the another example where we will take the complex object so let me just remove this over here and let's create the complex object constant employees equals to array array of object we will take over here okay here we will say employee name equals to shabir let's say department i'll say it department and let's say salary i'll just define as okay 100k salary over here so this is one object in my employees array let's create couple of more objects over here let me just change the name over here i'll say nickel suppose his salary is 130000 and let's say shivam over here and his salary is around 126000 so these are the three employee objects available where they are having employee name department and the salary information now i need to use the map function for this particular array so what i can do over here is i can say constant salary equals to i want to just take the salary for this particular employees over here so what i can tell here is employees dot map function where value equals to value dot salary so what i'm doing is i'm just returning the salary information from the entire object that we have here yeah, you can see that this is the one now let me just print this information console.log i'll just print the salary array so if i run this again yeah you can see that we are just getting the salaries over here if i print the whole object over here console.log Yeah, you can see that this is the entire object over here okay and we use the map function to map the particular input to a different output itself so instead of object as an input we got the number as an output so entire object array is converted into the array of a number so this is how we can use the map function so suppose if you want to add a particular data as well if you want to add more data then what we can do is 
let me just remove this console over here and this one as well now suppose rather than just taking the salary i want to add the monthly salary as well for all these employees so what i'll do i'll just say constant this is a new employee object okay equals to employees dot map over here and i'll take the value object and use the arrow function and here i'll define okay my employee name should be the same employee name where i'll get the employee name from val dot employee name the same for department value dot department and for the salary i don't want salary i want monthly salary so i'll just say monthly salary equals to val dot salary divided by 12 so i will get the monthly salary over here let me just do the rounding over here so this is the new object that i am creating over here that whatever the data i am getting over here whatever the object i am getting i am taking the employee name department and instead of salary i am just converting to monthly salary over here so let me just print this over here new employee let's clear this console and let's run this again yeah you can see that you are getting the data over here that employee name department and then you are getting the monthly salary rather than getting the salary over here so this way you can convert the objects as well so suppose if you are having multiple parameters then you don't have to worry about adding all the parameters over here you can directly use the spread operator so what i'll just do i'll just remove this over here and i'll just use the spread operator dot 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 well so what it will do it will add all the parameters available that is employee name department and salary and then it will add a monthly salary to this particular object so if i run this again yeah you can see that we are getting the employee name department salary and monthly salary is added over here so this way we can use the map function to convert any of the particular type or any of the particular objects to what we want that means we are mapping to a new value and at the end we will be getting the array out of it so that's it in the map function of array i hope you like this video and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos till then happy coding bye bye